New details are emerging about the night a McLean High School student died of an apparent drug overdose. Emily Longzak was found dead in Vienna a couple of weeks ago, and tonight the investigation has shifted to another local high school student. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Jeff Goldberg in the newsroom now with who it is police are looking at. Jeff. Well, actually, for the first time today, we heard from Fairfax County's police chief Ed Rossler on this case. He, like so many others, calls it a horrible tragedy. But police are talking with one young man who was there that night and has provided plenty of details. For those who knew 16 year old Emily Lanchek, like Robin Marks, she was really sweet. People loved her. Her death remains both a tragedy and a mystery. People are really upset, but they're also confused because they don't really know what to make of the whole thing. It's just really unfortunate. It shouldn't happen to anybody. As police continue to investigate what happened that night, attention is focused on Kyle Alifam, a Marshall High School student who was with Lanchak that night and who lives with his parents in a Vienna home near where Lanchak body was later found. Police have searched the home looking for flip flops, an iPhone, any trace of Emily Lonchak. Alifam's Facebook page as well as Lonchak's have also become key to the case. It's still an active investigation and um, hopefully once it's concluded we could provide an update on, on that investigation. Lonchak, a student at McLean High, was found dead August 23rd in the bushes between homes in Vienna. According to search warrants filed in Fairfax County on August 21st, Lonchak and three adult males traveled across state lines where illegal drugs were purchased and used. The next morning, the group returned to Fairfax, realizing Lonchak needed medical attention, but none was sought. Later that morning, she died and her body was concealed. Meanwhile, Lonchak is being remembered on social media with friends expressing outrage. She was left alone to die in the bushes. People just want to have closure and know what happened. Still so many questions about what did happen that night, like what substances may have been used and where that group went when they went over state lines. Now, to be clear, no charges have been filed in this case, but according to the search warrants, police are exploring charges of contributing to the delinquency of a minor. Live in the newsroom, Jeff Goldberg, ABC 7 News.